Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morrow, good whoever you are, whenever you are, wherever you are, ladies, gentlemen, children, and frying pans of all said ages. Today we have a midweek video, which is me taking a look at some of the top 20 paranormal events that have ever occurred. So we're going to jump straight over. We're looking at a channel called Top Discovery. I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's take a positive look at what the hell is going on in this video and just see if anything catches our eye, if we can debunk anything on the spot. To the reaction screen. And here we be. It's always great because I paused this right at the very start and I saw this video right at the very start and I just thought, oh, fuck. I know who this is. <laughs> Straight away. But let's give it a chance, shall we? Number 20. A spooked cat. Meow. To kick things off, we'll take you to Ontario, Canada, where a cat mother caught some really... A cat mother? Isn't that just a cat? How did the mother of the cat capture this where, how, they've got no thumbs spooky stuff going on in her home kathy gallinger a 45 year old lady this is kitty k ladies and gentlemen we will talk about kitty in a moment oh yes we will made headlines in 2022 when she claimed that she had gotten evidence of the supernatural everybody on tiktok claims they've got the evidence of the supernatural do you know how many possibly have none at the time, she explained that she had just moved into her home in Ontario and that she had noticed a lot of strange things going on. Have you ever? She was especially spooked by the fact that objects appeared to simply be moved. She's got a doll in a box. Never trust anybody with a doll in a box. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, every single time they say it's haunted, it's not. If they've got a doll in a box, they're ready to create some content with it on their own and weirded out but still determined to get to the I love this footage it's used by everybody this piece of stock footage is everywhere the bottom of it she decided to set up why is Bridget Jones getting a camera fitted CCTV cameras at different she likes it parts of the house on one fateful day she would appear to find what she was looking for her that's okay because Bono still hasn't cat interestingly named Salem was sitting on its own staring at two nesting dolls when it's you have to look for the patterns here the cat's name salem suddenly got up and ran but if you take a closer look at the footage you tell me that you don't see something jump out from one of the dolls bodies as kathy no i don't see something jump out from one of the dolls bodies what i actually see is a trick she uses over and over and over again with some smoke and what i believe it is I'd have to go back and check the emails, which we'll come on to in a moment. I believe it's actually a mask. And then it's someone vapes, and then they just add... So they vape in that environment, in front of that camera. And then they create that scene of just the vape smoke. And then they drag it over, overlay it, decrease the opacity, and... <laughs> right, I'll do it here for you, okay? I'll do it here. Right, wait. Wait. See? Piece of piss explained the doll had actually belonged to her mother and it dated back to the 1950s as a family heirloom or not i don't think that that doll would be in my house much longer after that number nine and the reason the cat runs off is there's somebody there that goes at the camera on the floor oh my favorite piece of footage on the internet oh i love this this is this is just masterful if you haven't seen the dobby mystery you are in for a treat Oh, I swear you're in for a treat. Teen, the Dobby mystery. You know how certain things seem unreal, but suddenly begin to turn up once more people believe in them? Well, yep. it appears that J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series has become such a cultural icon that we're now seeing characters Ooh. from it literally come to life. I don't think we are. Back in 2019, Vivian Gomez, a woman based in Colorado Springs, raised a huge alarm after she... <laughs> I love this. I love this. Because people still say it's a mystery. But wait till I show you. 
I'm almost positive it was done. Well, it was definitely done this way. Okay, I'm not even going to say I'm almost positive it was done this way. I'm going to show you the footage of how it was done. That she had... Okay, so this is her son. Fantastic name. His name is Bobby. <laughs> now, now, watch what they do. <laughs> right? Have some underwear, Which is genius. Head, shall we? Sure. So they put some pants on his head. All right, let's see it. Here's right. Bobby doing the chicken dance on a night vision camera. And here he is, side by side with the creature. Look, even the legs are the same. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Bobby is me. If by some chance you still think that this is Dobby from Harry Potter still in search of a sock and looking for freedom like David fucking Hasselhoff rather than Bobby with his pants on his head doing the chicken dance then I think you and I need to have a little a conversation on what's real and what's fucking not. Perhaps the Dobby is real after all. No, it's not. The Great Ghostly. Now, if you're a fan of literature and classic films, then you probably am. were a fan of The Great Gatsby. I wasn't. The magnum opus of F. Scott Fitzgerald, the book is one of the best-selling titles of all time, and it was also adapted... It's not really my flavor. ...into one of the most entertaining movies of our time, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. The one of the most entertaining movies of our time. It was a good film. I wouldn't say it was one of the most entertaining movies. I mean, Avengers Endgame was pretty good, and it was bloody entertaining. But this would have been better if Thanos would have showed up and just Infinity Stone Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, and Toby Maguire. Well, and then Toby would have become Spider-Man. Oh, full meta. Many of us have been thrilled by The Great Gatsby. One of the most intriguing characters in the film was, of course, Daisy Buchanan. She was the leading lady in the movie, and many believe that her character was influenced by Ginevra King, a socialite that lived between 1898 and 1980. All right, get to the fucking point. To have had an affair with Fitzgerald. In 2018, a woman named Christy Ranieri was on a walk close to the summer. Please don't tell me you think that's that's a ghost in a window. House owned by King, when she spotted something strange. As she would explain, she had stopped to take a selfie when she got home. And ex I understand that as humans, we're, we're programmed. We're just programmed to look for faces and stuff. It's just what we do. It's just that kind of thing. That's a smudge. That's like dust, a cobweb, could even be a spunk stain. Who knows? That's a smudge on a window that looks a bit like a face. Do you know you know it's not a face? Because it's not a face. <laughs> we get these all the time and it's just pareidolia. It's just, it's just what we see. You'll hear us all talking about pareidolia. We look for faces in things. It's like when you look at the clouds and you see a dick in the clouds. It's not an actual ghost dick in the sky. It's a cloud that looks like a dick. Examine the picture, and what do you know? There was something that looked like a ghost peeking. Then how's it got the bottom part of its chin in front of the window ledge? <laughs> if it's if it's inside, why on earth is the rest of the smudge on top of the window ledge? It's a fucking smudge! I actually think it's a footprint on the a footprint, a fingerprint on the camera lens. <laughs> One of those. Out behind her, as Christie would explain. Who is this? Some of the best paranormal evidence caught on camera. This is one of the best fingerprints I've seen caught on camera. Literally on the camera. <laughs> that can only be the ghost of Ginevra King. Oh, we can only that can only be the ghost of Ginevra King. Can it really? So if I go to my my camera right now and I just go, that can only be the ghost of King Henry VIII. It can't be the fingerprint that's clearly on the fucking lens. Knowing that she still is very much roaming around the world. I have my doubts, but I'd sure love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section. I'll be honest, I didn't put it in the comments. I put it in the internet. Down below. Number 17. Eight. This is one of my favorites because it's done really, really well. Right? Because it's framed so well. I've seen this many, 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 many times and it is framed and done so brilliantly. You need to watch, you need to watch this. It's great. For a haircut. Now, normally, if you go in for a haircut, you know what to expect. A haircut? People like you, seated in front of mirrors, getting their hair done. But on this day, I don't think that... We found Captain Obvious. The guys at this particular salon expected what they got. This clip, taken back in 2010, shows the moment that something truly spooky happened at a hair... 
Okay, right. What you need to realize again. So I always, always, always go on about this. It's the framing. It's all in the way it's framed. Okay. Look at how everybody's standing. Look at how it's visually framed. Okay. It's of no coincidence. This is Pukaka. Just watch. Air Salon. According to the salon's owner, he had actually been a bit skeptical about installing cameras, but ended up being glad that he did. Okay, so we've got a bit of a jump somewhere. I think they're talking to the other guy that's down here. You'll so let's jump that forward. The entire salon, only a woman is getting her hair done. And that woman is smiling. With so you. I think they're all part of this. It was it was clearly just kind of some kind of Halloween stunt or fun little Seats stunt. Being empty. And then if you take a good look at the chair in the distance with the dark blue cape. Okay, so he's here now. The chair raised up by itself, as if someone had stood up. No, the, the chair. I don't think the chair raised up by itself. I actually think it's just the. Uh, and then the just the thing coming off, right? Inside, instead of falling down. Let's watch that again. Let's the just see if the chair thing actually. Was crazy I might be enough to scare no. the guy sitting close to it. So I just want to see if the chair actually does raise up. So if we just keep a, a part of the the point of height here. Okay, so we're gonna keep an eye on this white line here because he says that the chair goes up. And I don't think it does. I might be wrong, but I don't think it actually goes up. I think it's just the cloth that's pulled. Oh, this clip, okay. taken back in 2010, shows the moment that something truly spooky happened at a hair salon. According to the salon's owner, he had actually been a bit skeptical about installing cameras, but ended up being glad that he did. You'll notice that the entire salon, only a woman is getting her hair okay, done, yep. with two seats yep. being empty. And then if you take a good look at the chair in the distance with the dark blue cape... I'm looking at it. Okay, so the chair doesn't actually go up. So the cape just moves. So far, the cape has just moved. I mean, first of all, the chair raised up by itself. No, it didn't, because that line doesn't move. So there, therefore, that's complete nonsense, okay? And then the cape kind of shrinks inside instead of falling down. Well, no, it comes over the back. The was crazy enough to scare the guy sitting close to it. And to be honest, I would be out of there as well if it were me. Number 16. I mean, there's a few things that can cause that. So, I've seen a few things from there, actually, and that's just one of them. But you can get barber capes that have weights at the back. So, if that's just pushed over, it can. It literally just came over the back. It was just pulled down. They're very light at the front. It was heavy at the back. It could have just slipped down. Mainly, I think this is actually all a bit of a stitch-up, though, and I think that somebody's given a little bit of a rab and tag, eh? Oh God, please don't, oh, 16, please say, please say it, Cynthia. The thirsty ghost. You know that feeling when you've been saying something to someone, but no one ever believes you until you show them proof? Well, you can only imagine how yeah. vindicated this woman must have felt when she finally caught some paranormal activity. Why are so many ghosts in kitchens? This is what I want to know. Why, of all the things they can do with their uber ethereal power, do they think, I know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to push a cup or travel over to Laney and Ben's house and open a fucking drawer. They have got infinite power now. They've done the dead thing. They've come back to life. And now they're just going to come in and go and push a fucking cup. That's what 90% of ghosts, they go to someone's kitchen, open a cupboard door and push a cup. Are they making a fucking cup of soup? Because let me tell you where I stand on cup of soups. We're not getting into that, actually. No, we're not going there. On camera. Back in 2012, Donna Ayers began raising an alarm about the different Donna activities around her house. That included, and especially the fact, that things were seemingly moving on their own. Looking to really nail the proof, she decided to take a video recording, and right on cue, she captured Show something, the whole kitchen. literally in her kitchen, that decided to move a cup. Because it is being pulled by the hand or oh whatever it gosh. is, in that direction, away from where your framing sure, is. Isn't... If you're going to put out some paranormal evidence, because we all we all just want to see something real. If you're going to put out some paranormal evidence, right, show us all the frame. Show us everything. I mean, even Leaf and Really Haunted tried to show us everything. Now, he just can't hide his cuts very well. But... Show us the entire kitchen, not just the part where the mug's being pulled off to a side of the kitchen that nobody can see. Wet or anything, it's all dry. It's all dry. There's no reason for it to be moving. 
No, that's not it. To cover any bias, Donna did show underneath the platform where the cup was to reveal that there was nothing there. She's so holding the it in a very remains, particular way as well. What on earth was actually moving that cup? Why don't you According pick the cup up from the, the top? Lady, she believed that she was being haunted by her late brother. If that is the case, I wonder if the guy's... Was he a cup man? ...just thirsty in the great beyond or something. I mean, hey, when you've got to quench your thirst, you've got to quench your thirst, right? Number 15. Messing with a victim. Okay, let's see. Most people who experience paranormal activities tend to have first-hand experience literally on their own, and that experience can be quite harrowing when you're by yourself. Now, for a perfect example of this, we'll take a look at this guy. The clip, which was taken in November of 2017, shows a guy working late at the office when he suddenly hears an alarm going off. Okay. Wait, why is he... Why is he... Why is he on his own in there with all the lights off, for starters? It's gotta be an insurer's nightmare, that is. As the clip will show, he decides to go and check it out, and eventually came back thinking that he was done, but little did he know that what... This looks really well put together and really well framed for everything. Right. Part of me thinks this is for some kind of film. Whatever was behind the entire thing was not done messing with him. Visibly scared once again, the guy decides to go and check out what's happening. Because he's in the center frame for all of these. So it's, it's... Okay, maybe maybe they are framed for the walkway, but you have to admit it all just looks a little bit too fishy. Behind the camera, but he was so spooked that he literally high it <laughs> out of there. He runs like away. me. Oh, come on. Why did he react before the chair moved? <laughs> Let's watch again. Right, let's watch. I'm pretty sure he reacts and then the chair moves, right? Let's watch. Behind the camera, but he, he was so Let's wait, let's pause for his reaction. He moves before that chair, he right? He was so spooked that he literally hightailed it. There was up. a cut there, too. Was that a cut? Cheeky little shit. Was that a cut? I don't know what happened behind the camera, but he was so spooked that he literally hightailed There was a little cut there, too. Load of shit. No shit! <laughs> Hilarious, because I love the way he runs. It was amazing. Pulled it out of there and ran away. He runs like I do. Ah! I don't I think silver. he'll be coming back to work the next day. Just let you know, I had to skip one. Because I've seen it before and I don't agree with what was in it. Okay? I... I I'm pretty sure there were some news reports on it afterwards and the people in it turned out to be not very nice people. So they're not getting a feature, so I've skipped it. Pot store. Back to stories of ghosts that might be trying to make contact with the physical world, our next story takes us to Oregon, where the owner of a dispensary claimed that his shop was apparently being haunted. In 2018, a man named Andy Gomez, who owned a pot dispensary, claimed that he had substantial proof that his shop was being haunted by ghosts. And for that proof, he showed this surveillance footage. Thing moves on slippery surface. That should be the fucking headline for that. He's put a pot down. Could be a bit... <laughs> no pun intended. He's put a container down on a surface. Could it be a bit wet? It's very, very bottom heavy. Obviously, it's full of heavy stuff. Don't know what it is. Cabinets or whatever you call it, married iguana, whatever he's selling, right? It's all in that pot. It just slips forward. That's it. It just falls forward. How's that fucking ghost? And just watch the pot jar as it suddenly begins to move while he's arranged. I mean, the shelf doesn't even look level. And people will be saying, well, this glass, this glass might be just a different weight. This can be anything. Why do we put things moving down to paranormal everything? If we're trying to capture real paranormal evidence, this is complete insanity. This is just something that's just slipping off. It's, like, ah. it's not a ghost. It's not a ghost. I slipped on the fucking path. I'm not possessed. the place. To make things worse here, Andy added that he had felt a weird presence while the whole thing was- Oh, you smoke copious amounts of weed and now you're feeling a weird presence, are you? Fucking shocker! 
happening. As it was happening, I kind of felt like somebody was standing next to me. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. <laughs> like somebody was like right here. And if that wasn't enough, check out the jar with the pens on the counter. Now keep in mind that this is a pot dispensary. Any doctoring of surveillance footage could land the guys in jail. Which is fair, but it might just be that someone was underneath the cabinet and banging the cabinet at that point, right? Could we have a ghost look? And when people come to us, but why would they want to fake it? Why would they want to fake it? For extra customers, you put something like this on TikTok and people are like, I'm going to the haunted pot store. Not only do I want to buy some marijuana, I also want to see myself a little ghost, in it? Can to just simply burn some trees? Who really knows? Number 11, ghost feel. If you're going to say number 11, at least say it like Jill's. Number 11. Line. Now for something that just can't be explained anywhere. Okay, it can't be explained anywhere. Brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this piece of footage. Captured in 2019, this footage shows two cats sitting calmly on the front porch of their okay. owner's home. It looks pretty chill. Well, yep. you're about to see something weird, though. Something weird. That never happens here, right? Suddenly, one of those cats appeared to have been scared by something that was coming out of the shrubs close to the two of them. And that's probably another that's cat. decided to run for the hills, leaving his partner alone. But just as soon as the cat takes off, it seemingly vanishes. Oh my god, no it doesn't. We've been over this off. Now, How can you where not? Where did he go? Did he literally turn into a firefly and float away? Where no. on earth did it go? The craziest thing was that the feline's partner seemingly just looked unbothered about the entire thing. Either right, there's one of two things that are going to have happened here. Here's your explanation. Sit tight, buckle your seatbelt, and get your listening gears ready. Explanation number one. Wait. Either the cat was on his own wave, or he'd probably seen his partner do that before. But either way, it's some crazy stuff unbothered about the entire thing. Where? It seemingly vanished to have been scared by something that was coming out of the shrubs close to the two of them. And that's when it decided to run for the hills, leaving his partner alone. But just as soon as the cat takes off, it seemingly vanishes. Now, where did he go? Did he literally turn into a firefly and float away? Where on earth did it go? The craziest thing was that the feline's partner seemingly just looked unbothered about the entire thing. Either the cat... Okay, right, sorry, I paused for a second because I noticed something slightly off. Now, it was done very, very cleverly and very, very coyly, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on it and show you, okay? Why it's all bollocks. You ready for this? Okay, this is like, this is about four minutes after my little rant, okay, so I had to locate the video, so I've located the video, alarm bell that first got me, right, was the timer doesn't move at all, but let me let you into a little secret, the cat doesn't disappear, stays behind this pillar, ready, I'm going to show you how, so I've got it on 0.25, so we can get to the point where the cat runs away. Watch. So the cat is here, look, he's backing up. He goes here. So what actually happens here is they put a mask in. Right, you can see that the cat dis disappears behind this mask, but he doesn't, you see. Because they remove the mask afterwards when the firefly comes. But what you then see, so you see this thing run off here. But watch around here. Just here, look. The shadow. If you look just around this point, you can still actually see the remnants of the cat moving. So basically, what, what's, what's happened here is this is a really, really common trick. So they've got two pieces of, of footage and they've got a clean plate. Now, a clean plate is simply just a photograph or they've... Or they've got foot, so you can know the a clean plate can simply be a photograph, or it can be some footage of the background as is, like as this is here. But what they've actually done is what most people would do in this situation is they used the pillar as a masking point. So they use this here, 
as the point to create but what they've done is used it on this side so they use this is your straight edge and you create a straight line mask because when you use a straight line it's very difficult for people to to see that right but what they've done is they've applied as we talked about before is they've applied feather to it so the mask then comes out a little bit and blends but the cat then falls into said feather and it just stays in this area so the cat is actually always here it never leaves this is a completely separate piece of footage and how do we know it's been doctored well it's quite simply just take a look at the time at the bottom left bottom right so we can't tell my left and my right just take a look at the time i'll put it on normal speed so you can uh, take a look at the time normal speed and watch the time The seconds never move. All one elaborate hoax, my friends. The weirdness ensues, but we continue to remain Victoria. Can't be explained. And that's obviously why they cut off the timing at the bottom. Anywhere, take a to look help at their little narrative, so it is. Captured into super huge. Oh, these ones are interesting. I love these. I love these ones. We're actually going to do a uh, like a, a video just about these about these time travel ones because they're amazing. The time travel, the superhuman speed. Human speed. You'll probably want to buckle up for this one because it's the type of thing you'll need to see to believe. In 2019, a mysterious video made the rounds that showed what appeared to be a superhuman or ghost figure saving a lady's life. The footage, which was from... Right, so... Is this good? Let's see, shall we? Video made the rounds that showed what appeared to be a super... You. Right, so... Why is it fake, ladies and gentlemen? Write in the comments right now why this is fake. It lacks something. One thing that makes it... It lacks one thing that makes it stand out as outrageously fake. And I've paused it here for a reason. Something a lot of people get wrong. And it's something that... Um, it's something that only... It's something that debunkers don't ever talk about, really. Uh, Mr. Gray may have mentioned it from time to time. But the problem that we have here is she's standing in front of headlights. Or the person is standing in front of headlights. And there is no light wrap. Light wrap is... If there's a light behind you, it kind of... So if you look... Yeah, so uh, I haven't got the light that I can shine it. So basically, if I put my torch on, right, and I do this, what's happening is I'm getting illumination from behind, right? The light wraps me. Does what it says in the tin. And this is something that is one of the fundamentals of compositing. So if you're going to be like putting a character in somewhere you need it's the way that it interacts with the light that is the most important this is why we can we can look at like stuff like really haunting and stuff like that because the interaction of the composition doesn't fit with the environment because it's black's too black it's lights are too light the greens are wrong and nothing light wraps correctly and that is the situation here this should be illuminated there is no illumination so when we actually look at it more closely we can actually even see parts of the composition as it goes on it's very it, you know it, it's done quickly so basically all this is this is uh green screened and what what happens is it the, the green screen is taken out so if i just switch i could possibly switch to um so i've got a, a green screen area right here which is uh, an upright green screen and to the floor um so this does the like more or less the ceiling to the floor uh, the ceiling and about four foot of the floor in green screen here which is lit in different ways and i can have it control the light wrap and what happens is when and when you green screen something out. It's not just about green screening. See, most people presume that you just put green screen up, right? And then you just get rid of the green, but it's not that simple at all. That is 
that's what you know, that's the stuff you can find on YouTube. But if you want a convincing key and you want a convincing green screen, you have to take yourself out of one point and then consider the place you're putting your footage into. So if I was going to put myself into some footage of Lee's, for example, I've got to position my camera in the same position as his is. So I've have to get the same perspective. Then I have to compensate for his lights. So if he has a kitchen light in the background and I composite myself into that and I don't put a light behind where I am, if I'm in front of the kitchen light, then again, I don't belong in that scene because I've got no interaction. And this is what's going on here. So they've got the camera angle down. So what they've done is they've, what I'm, what it looks like they've done is they film from the same camera and they film someone coming across the road and then they film the second part and then they film someone when they pick her up and then take her. They've fast forwarded that part, added some motion blur to it. But of course, there's no lights when they did it, so it would have been filmed late at night. So the timing's probably right, but that's just an overlay anyway. So the top part is an overlay. So, so the top part is an overlay and it's just the lighting that throws it off but you can also see some masking and some artifacting as we go when along. So we can actually see there's no real contact. And then we can see there's, a, there's an issue here. And then we see some blurring here where a person has ran and they've sped this part of the footage up. And then what they've done is they've used something called frame blending. So when you speed up footage, you have different options. You can use optical flow, which tries to replace certain frames to stop juddering. Or you can use something called frame blending. Now what frame blending does is it takes all the frames when you speed them up and when you get like a time lapse and you get that beautiful blur of everything on it gives you that kind of dreamlike essence that is called frame blending and that is exactly the effect that is used between that so it's sped up the man is running that is sped up and voila you get this effect the lady's life the footage which and then if you look again we can see that the actual footage doesn't doesn't really look right the footage which and then there is like obviously a jump there as well which tells us it's completely fake just to finish that off fake. so if we just completely slow it down you're oh, saving okay the so there's this person here so now if we watch again light wait for the change the there we go and there's the jump in the change so we know it's completely edited footage there is no arguments about that one. It's crazy. It's brilliant. It's great. There are a ton of them. I'm going to show you possibly at some point this week, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday, some more of these because I think they're really, really good fun. They're crazy. And we just love to look at this kind of stuff. Footage. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yes, I've changed my clothes, my hat and my glasses because I forgot to film an outro. I must have been distracted by something shiny. I hope you enjoyed that, learned a few things along the way and enjoyed a little bit of a journey for a little bit of a longer video for me, just having a bit of fun. I'm not going to keep you any longer or bore you for any longer. So I will say on to you, take care of yourselves. And if you can't take care of yourselves, take care of everybody else because that, my friends, is human. I bid you adieu.